guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Guys, if you have a Chevy Cruze, guys, and you have any of the following two codes, I'm talking about code P0118 or P0119. Stay with, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain what causes these codes and how to fix it. Quick introduction, guys, we have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, guys, and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. We do all that, guys, so we can save you as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video for all the work we put here at the shop, guys. And making those videos for you now if you need to buy any tools or any parts to fix those codes or that uh, problem guys or any other problem on your car check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get everything for a very good price and fast shipping as well now this is a 2015 chevy cruise but even if you have a different engine this is the 1.8 but even if you have the 1.4 or 1.6 or even the 2.0 diesel 1.7 diesel in europe guys procedure will be the same this is the scanner that we are using very inexpensive scanner okay but does the job great and you can see live data and live data is updating really fast that's what i like about it so if you guys want to check it out link will be shared in the description of the video below for your convenience so i'm going to go ahead plug it in now i will go inside guys and let me show you what we will be doing here now we are going to go ahead and turn the ignition on okay like that ignition switch is on now if you start the car i want to explain what you can experience guys you can experience engine light being on you can experience guys something else as well radiator fan may stay on all the time i mean all the time let me let me show you quick okay what i'm talking about i'm going to exit out of the car and if i come out okay you're going to hear the radiator fan being stuck on okay he's just going there guys so what we are going to do now okay let me explain to you i'm going to go ahead and turn the car off now your fan it will take a while to turn off it's going to uh, spin now at lower speed but what we're doing now we're going to go to obd under obd there now guys okay it's going to uh, connect guys it's going to establish connection and all that stuff it will give you a table okay here with some information click enter enter again we don't we are going to delete the data from previous scanning now here you have three different computers one is for the battery one is for fuel pressure and one is for the engine and most of the codes will be there ours usually is the one with eight yours may differ guys so how we do that now we click read codes okay and i usually check stored and pending codes both of them check both i'll just do quick pending so i don't waste your time but under stored is the same thing and what we have p0118 engine coolant temperature sensor circuit hi guys okay so that tells us guys that we have a problem with the engine coolant temperature sensor so i'm going to go ahead guys okay i'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, open the hood and show you what we need to fix now so what do you guys need to do now disconnect your car battery why because if the radiator fan is on it can guys cut your fingers your hands it's extremely dangerous now if you guys have any of those two codes p0118 or 119 guys okay check it out now right here you have guys the thermostat housing and towards the bottom right there you have a sensor okay that sensor guys it's hard for me to show you okay but this sensor right here this is the one guys for the cooling temperature sensor and if this sensor is bad guys or not reading correctly or unplugged guys what will happen you will get these codes and your radiator fan will be on all the time so always guys check these codes okay and if you have any of those codes check the connection if that doesn't fix the problem guys replace the sensor we have a video on the channel that explains how to do that you have to do that on an extremely cold car otherwise if you uh, coolant could be under enormous amount of pressure and hot coolant guys can severely burn you cause damage to you your vehicle as well so follow the okay check out the video how to do that guys because it's dangerous you have to drain your cooling system before you actually replace the coolant temperature sensor so we'll go ahead replace ours and see if that fixes the problem if you guys uh, uh, want to buy one check out the link we'll have it in the description of the video below so i'm going to go inside turn the ignition on now okay and what we're going to do after it's on we're going to go back and select erase codes right here erase done i'm going to go ahead start the car now guys okay and see okay what it sounds like radiator fan is not on i don't hear it at all guys so 
That definitely guys took care of our problem. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having problems like that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time.